Chief Executive Carrie Lam visited Jakarta to boost Hong Kong's collaboration with Indonesia and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Accompanied by Secretary for Commerce and Economic Development Edward Yao, she met Indonesian President Joko Widodo. Mrs. Lam said she was pleased that since meeting Mr. Widodo last May when she was chief executive-elect, ties between the two places have strengthened, covering not only economic, trade and investment aspects, but also culture, student exchange and training of railway personnel. She said this trip marks her first visit to Indonesia, which is also the first ASEAN country she has visited following the signing of the free trade agreement and a related investment agreement between Hong Kong and ASEAN. Mrs. Lam then attended a luncheon organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council and the Chinese General Chamber of Commerce, Hong Kong. During the event, she promoted Hong Kong's advantages to the Indonesian business community and highlighted the opportunities that both sides can seize together under the Belt and Road Initiative. Mrs. Lam said agreements signed last November between Hong Kong and ASEAN, which covered trade, investment, economic and technical cooperation, and dispute settlement mechanisms, have brought cooperation between Hong Kong and ASEAN to a new level. Built on multilateral cooperation in infrastructure, in trade and investment, in culture and in people-to-people -people bond, the Belt and Road Initiative will rise as a global economic force deep into the 21st century. The member states of ASEAN are poised to play a key role and benefit from it. And with the Central People's Government's support, Hong Kong can contribute to each of the five areas of connectivity under the Belt and Road Initiative. This is already well illustrated in two successful Belt and Road Summits organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council in 2016 and 2017, another Belt and Road Seminar held at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing in February this year in conjunction with the newly established Belt and Road General Chamber of Commerce. Given the significant Muslim population along the Belt and Road, Islamic finance will surely expand as the big ticket infrastructure projects find traction. In this, Hong Kong can also offer her services. Over the past years, we have issued three international sukuk or Islamic bonds. Each has been a success. Each is a testimony to global investor confidence in Hong Kong's financial services experience and economic fundamentals. Mrs. Lam added that with the advantage of one country, two systems, an excellent environment for doing business, and quality professional services, Hong Kong is well positioned to help Indonesian enterprises tap into the opportunities brought about by the Belt and Road Initiative.